Hi guys, welcome back to my Rabbit Hole of K-Pop. I'm Atomic Rabbit. I was debating whether I was going to put up something for Red Velvet on the channel because I have probably nothing for Red Velvet yet on here, which is mostly due to the fact that I have watched their MVs prior to me starting my YouTube channel. And because I'm not a regular reaction channel, I wasn't sure how to go about this. On the other hand, this is K-pop, this is what I love and this is what I'm interested in. And since this week I'm mostly recording, that leaves me a little bit of time and room to get into this. So I actually decided to watch it together with you. I put in also the uh, Queen's archive. So the only thing I know is that there's a new album I, I, I'm gonna be listening to it when I'm done with recording, so I haven't heard anything. So I don't know what this Queen's Archive thing is, but it looks very interesting. I like these clips that they're doing, because I've seen some for NCT, for NCT Dream. I, I really like it, because I like what they're doing with it. I also included the mood sampler and, of course, the MV. So I'm just gonna dive into it and just see what these five gorgeous women have come up with this time. I do have to say I'm really, really glad to see that they are together, that Wendy is looking good, that she just looks radiant and happy. I'm, I'm sorry I haven't gotten to Joy and Wendy's solo stuff. I know there have been some things I just haven't had the time to dive into it. But this is just, this is that comeback, you know? Red Velvet, it's been a while because Wendy's accident. So I'm just making time for this. Anyways, let's go. Interesting. That song has been on my playlist like forever. <laughs> Oh, 
of um, uh, Shiny's 
album cover jacket thing theme. I'm sorry, words. Please. This is thank you. I mean, it's good for Korean, but for understanding purposes. Okay, no surprise, but I love it. Most of the things that I'm watching, I'm gonna say I love it. So there's no surprise there. Wendy must be the sunshine of Red Velvet. Every time I see her, she's just smiling. She's, her face is just glowing every single time that I see her. There are these people that are just literal sunshine. Wendy's just one of them. I also just particularly love her voice. It's one of the best female vocals that I have heard. I really like the theme of this MV and I think it is a pretty smart move to attach this theme to something that is still a little bit lingering in K-pop which is the disco kind of theme but this was a disco mixed with dance uh, with EDM a little bit and there there was something else in there I could I, I can't quite put my finger on it that is also because I'm still not that familiar with the various genres. It is something that I want to get into. But since I'm spending so much time on making all the content for my channel, I just don't seem to get to it. Yeah, I think that is a pretty smart move rather than doing that typical disco theme with the bling bling. Because there, there was a little bit of shiny in this, but it was really more in their style. Even with the boxes like the gifts and stuff, that, that is also something that has been done. So it's, it's a theme that you can see throughout various groups and various MVs. But whereas in some of the MVs that I watch, it's, it's sort of not annoying, but I notice it and I see it and I see like, oh, this reminds me of that. Maybe it's the same director who did that. This is not that original. Instead of that, right now, for this MV, 
and for this song I can hear it's different and they attacked this pretty smart it's just a pretty smart move to combine this it's not a typical disco song because you can hear other genres in it it's not a typical disco MV but there are elements in it it's it's the, the the dance and there's moves in there and then there's that little bling bling but you can see a storyline and, and you can see that red velvet thing being put into it that red velvet theme which is mysterious mystical it's kind of dreamlike. That is the thing that I attach to Red Velvet because their MVs are sometimes boarding the absurd and because they have that peppy theme but also that darker theme. And this was more on the peppy side, but I'm sure that there's in, in the album, I'm sure that there's also the velvety sides. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, I think is, is the right word. I didn't know what to expect. And also because the last MV was Psycho, which is the velvet side, which is a darker thing. And then doing this, which is more colorful and more on the bubbly side. I like that. I really enjoy when you can be surprised, but also sense the familiarity with what has been done previously. When you can follow the line, you know, when it's not completely left out of field. But when something new is just true to a, a group's or an artist's center. That was it for this Red Velvet excursion I just did. I hope you enjoyed spending some time on my virtual couch with me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. And you.